Human beings start planning their future at the very beginning of each person's rational awakening. Part daydreaming, part determination of will. It is a distinctive feature of us all that for each individual the present and the past do not suffice. The prospect of the future is both hope and challenge. To you young people and even to me at 85, it's the future that counts. So that wonderful institution of our civilization, the school, receives the young of the species, Homo sapiens, just on the doorstep of this forward-looking period of their lives. You receive young people eager for the future. What happens during the formative years has a lifelong impact on the young person's mind and character. What happens in the schools is much more than crude expression, than that crude expression in social engineering. It's not the mere social. It's not the mere engineering. It takes over from genetics and familial imprinting and starts a remolding process. This process is not only of great importance for that individual and his way of looking forward, it is a formative process of the whole generation of citizens. So we are in nation formation all the time. I'm speaking as an ex-president of the Republic and an ex-politician. But really, Malta, I'm speaking of my country, is the product of its schools. And it is being redone all the time. Nation building is something ongoing. We are always building our nation. I take leave of my speech at this moment. Finland, until 1917, was not independent. They were under Russia. Malta, until 1921, had no self-government. We only became independent in 1964. And people of my age, can still remember the contribution our education made to the nation building, even politically. And I believe in your country it's the same. The transfer from a country under another country, and then a country which was besieged by war. You know, Finland, at the time that we were being bombarded, perhaps nobody in this room now remembers that Malta was under very heavy bombardment. We suffered a lot during the war, even hunger. But I remember what Finland was suffering at that time. That is, the war and the science. At one moment, the Germans were their friends. suffered invasion, we didn't. It was a very good thing for us, but we were both under great stress during the war. And we had to rebuild, both of us had to rebuild the country. I remember the years following 1945. One of my predecessors, also President of the Republic, was Agatha Barbar. She was also Minister of Education, first female Minister of Education. What she had to do was to find space in which to teach. Because 
so many of our schools had been bombarded that compulsory education in 1946 was quite a job for government to provide the schools. And I remember afterwards, of course, what happened afterwards and how this country was built bit by bit through its schools and of course through other activities. But I believe that Finland also has done, has gone through this process of rebuilding the nation, not only physically from the ravages of war, but also in the mentality, in the way you look at it. This process in the schools is not only of great importance for the individual person's way of looking forward, it is also a formative process of the whole nation. Having outgrown the schooling process and proceeded to university or other tertiary educational institution, the young person takes over more responsibility for himself and his own formation. It is now realized that education and therefore formation and information is a lifelong process. Lifelong education is now quite a common concept. So the press and other mass communication media have to take over the task of continuing to supply knowledge and reflection upon knowledge. I have, I must confess that I never visited your country. A great fault of mine. I have, however, had the good fortune to encounter excellent people who gave witness to the excellence of the educational and communication system in Finland. One was Dr. Pekka who are the Secretary General of the United Nations World Communications Union. He came to Malta when I was president twice, really. And I had occasion to receive him at the palace in connection with the 1998 World Communications Conference in which this person had a lot to, to do, held in Malta. Another was, I don't know whether you know him, Professor Carlo Tuori, Professor of Administrative and Constitutional Law in the University of Helsinki. And in last year's Professor of Law, with whom I often discussed points of constitutional and human rights law when we were both on the Venice Commission for Democracy through Law. I believe he's still there. You know? very good person to know. Okay. <laughs> I have come to appreciate from afar the great importance given to the transfer of knowledge and reflection in the English system, both the educational institutions as well as that of the telecommunications media. I have the honor to preside, to preside over a foundation which was set up to help the education of those who transmit thought and information through the media. Teachers and journalists share the same task, though in different periods of the lives of people and citizens. The education of educators and the education of the transfer, transmitters of knowledge and thought is of the utmost importance in any society, our own in Malta and Gojo, as much as in Finland. And then continue on another, another step forward. We have to train people to communicate because the access now through the various ways of communication has become direct. Immediate. 
and sometimes inconsiderate. Perhaps we have to train people when putting a message through the accessible media on how to do it and what it will cause in others. There is another point. As an ex-politician, I think we have not only to educate the educator and educate the transmitter of knowledge through the media, but also to educate further our politicians. Thank you for receiving. Once again, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you for the second day of this international workshop on Finnish education and pedagogy, which we are holding once again even this year in collaboration with Learning School Finland. This workshop was made possible thanks to the support of the Thomas Manner Foundation for Education in Journalism and a number of private entities which also gave us their assistance. Yesterday, we had the opportunity already to discuss the Finnish education and the curriculum. And today, our guests from Finland, Johanna Jardine and Tobart and Kaiser Pumarna, will give their input on Finnish pedagogy and its implementation at school level. Later on this morning, will also be joined by the President Emeritus and former Minister of Education, His Excellency Dr. Ugo Mitsubonici, who is also the Chairman of the Thomas Fenwick Foundation. It was in November 2016 when, as head of my institution, Matevoli Consigli St. Joseph School, Paula, we reached an agreement with Learning School Finland, which started our collaboration in providing training in Finnish pedagogy and education, not only in Malta and other Mediterranean countries, but also in the city of Tampere in Finland. This collaboration led to the organization of the first workshop on Finnish education in February 2017 for my members of staff and other educators from other schools. Also, for the first time last August, we sent five of our educators to Tampere for an interesting educational study tour organized by our partners and which included visits to different schools, libraries and lectures at the Tampere University of Applied Sciences. This was also made possible thanks to EU funds obtained through EUPA and Erasmus Plus. This tour also led to an opportunity to personally interview the Finnish Minister of Education, the Honorable Sunny Grandazone. Interview which was published last November in the Sunday Times of Malta. And during this interview, the Finnish Minister focused on a teaching profession that is valued and respected. In her comments, it was clear that a sense of empowerment permits the Finnish education system. Other experts discussed with and mentioned by the Honorable Lassonen will also certainly be referred to, even today, by Johanna and Kaiser during their presentation. Meanwhile, this August, more educators from my school and from other Maltese education institutions will be once again joining us and traveling to Tampere for another study tour organized by Learning School Finland. We'll also be taking another initiative during the same days for Maltese educators together with the Tampere University of Applied Sciences and with which we have recently signed as a school representation and collaboration agreement. More details will be provided also in the coming days and weeks. Meanwhile, today, we are also celebrating our first year of collaboration with the organization of this two-day international workshop, which is being attended by over 200 Maltese educators from the three different sectors, other educational institutions, and also by colleagues from the University of Malta, the Spanish University Castilla-La Manca, and even we have with us student teachers from other entities. 
I ensured that these workshops would be of benefit not only to get to know more about the success of Finnish education and pedagogy, but will serve as an opportunity for us to share our good practices as we all have something to teach and to learn from each other. Finally, while thanking all the participants present with us, not only yesterday but even today, for these workshops and who with their participation and, and support are also supporting this event, special thanks goes also to the family of the late Thomas and George Fennett and the Thomas Fennett Foundation for Journalism for believing in such an initiative. Ambassador Anthony De Bono, Mr. Marco Bonici and his colleagues from the Council of the World Union of Teachers, and also Professor Sandro Caruana and his colleagues from the Faculty of Education within the University of Malta, who also showed interest in these workshops. Thanks also goes to Miller Distributors and Agenda Bookshop, Clever Touch Plus and Beijing's Productions, Educali, Printed, and the Malta Vocational Center for also assisting in the organization. It is only thanks to the Foundation, these private entities, our provincial sister, Sister Cecilia Schembri, Mr. Melkin Naldi, my separate university library, and also other members of staff, like my assistant head, Mr. Masuedo, Mr. Julian Buzuti, Mr. Francis Cassar, that we are all together today taking part in this educational experience. Thanks once again for your presence, for your attention, and hope we meet again in the future for more educational experiences. Thank you. You have so many, so enthusiastic teachers that um, that is something that is common here in, in Malta and in Finland. The teachers with big hearts and willingness and big hearts to teach and to care the children. And i um, excited to be here and to show what kind of stuff we are doing in our classrooms in Finland. It's been a great pleasure to be here. It's, a, it's an honor to meet all these Maltese educators they have been they are so talented and so passionate and we have got so much good feedback and it's great to work with people who are enthusiastic to to improve the quality of education so it's great to be here Fondazione Thomas Fennec ġiet imwaqfa fi tnejn ta' frar tas-sena 2000. Eżattament sena wara li kien ħallina s-sur Thomas Fennec li kien miet fi tnejn ta' frar tal-1999. Il-fondazzjoni hija għall-edukazzjoni fil-ġurnaliżmu. U minn dikinhar illum deħlina 19 sena ta' ta' li hija waqfa il-fondazzjoni hija tiffoka ħafna fuq l-edukazzjoni li tagħti mhux lill-poplu in ġenerali, imma lill-ġurnalisti stess, dawk li għadhom jibdew u anke dawk li huma ilhom fil-professjoni. Ir-raġuni hija li aħna nkunu nixtiequ illi jekk ikun hemm suġġetti partikolari, il-pubbliku in ġenerali ikun qiegħed ikun informat sew fid-dettall fuq dak il-qasam li jkun qedin jitkellmu fuqu. U għalhekk aħna għandna numru ta' ftehim ta' kollaborazzjoni, pereżempju mal-Università ta' Malta, mal-MCAST, mal-Istitut tal-ġurnaliżmu, ma anke l-Istitut tal-Accountants u anke mal-Stock Exchange u mal-Central Bank. Għalfej biex aħna nkunu nistgħu illi meta dawn l-entitajiet, dawn l-istituzzjonijiet ikunu qegħdin iħabbru xi informazzjoni, dik l-informazzjoni tiġi evalwata b'tali mod li tkun tista' tingħata sew lill-pubbliku in ġenerali. Illum il-fondazzjoni għandna numru ta' direttori, hija fiha nfisha hija ċċerjata mill-eċċellenza tiegħu il-President Omeritus, Dr. Ugo Mifsud Bonnici. 
umbaħt minn naħa tal-familja Tumas Fenek em tleta illi rappresentaw lil-familja u tnej uma il-mill-istitut tal-ġornalizmu. Aħna matul da' snin għaminna numru ta' korsijiet u riċentement, għanzi nistanajt isu ta' 18 xarilu, konna nistanajdu protagonisti illi irnexxinna, illi nikkonvinċu l-autoritajiet biex jisir kors tal-BA li jikun il-ġifiri l-individu jista jigradwa bħala BA fil-ġornalizmu u muħix b-mot ġenerali fil-BA communications kif kien għabel għem min jikun għem fil-BA communications ma da, għammin niħspeċ ikfekament biex jikun fuq il-ġornalizmu għalfej biex il-ġornalisti li tilajn ikunu jistaw, ikunu iktar iffokati fuq il-ġornalizmu fuq il-professjoni. Il-raġuni illi għedin f'din il-konferenza illi l-lum ija iktar għettati xeħra fl-edukazzjoni mal-pajis Finland aħna derinna illi nistawnatu l-kontribut taħna għalix inħossu illi kull individu jo individua illi jibda l-ħajja l-edukazzjoni min ta' jikun zajr illi nafu li l-edukazzjoni jial per ta' l-ħajja ta' l-bniedem aħna għetin ħarsu illi meta dawn il-tfajliet u l-ġuvintur jispiċaw biex jitħlu l-universitaw u jikunu diġa għedin jiffukaw fej ħajkunu għaddejjin fil-ħajja taħħum aħna ridna illi illi at that point illi jitħol il-ġornalist li jullu l-ġornalist li jikun għet jinforma l-publiku in-ġenerali għallura għem dik transazzjoni min l-skola, min l-universita għal-ħajja normali ta' kuljum u għem u għal-punt illi zewġna daw izzewġ latijiet tal-konferenza stess biex aħna natu il-kontribut taħna għalli jikun għem laħjar prodot possibli għal-futur kem malina u kem anka għalix min lat ta Finland għal kem aħna smajna ħafna Finlandija wahda mil-pajizi fejnu ma avvanzati ħafna fil-edukazzjoni aħna u ma stess għalodna uħadna pjaċir illi għal kem u ma jħossu għom illi għedin avvanzati ħafna f'dak li jħedukazzjoni fil-dinja kolla u ma għet jajdunna u koll li ħadu pjaċir illi jitalmu u koll anka mil-teachers kolla li ħadu u sem f'din l-konferenza u rrit najt il-li kienet verament konferenza tajba u rrit għaw nati l-apprezzament taħna lej il-doktor Kenneth Vella il-li kien il-persuna principali il-li koordina din l-konferenza għalix il-mot ta kif ik-kontribuew u il-mot ta kif kif ik-partecipaw il-teachers li kienu fil-jume il-li saret ija ħaġa l-li jahna verament apprezzajna u naħ سب اللي هاتات الفروت في الفسمين اللي جاي نورا معنا البروغرام نتلاي في كومبلي الدين النفسية اللي جايين هنكونو قد نفوكا وصا فو السيستيما ادوكاتيفا في بايزنا وانكي ديك اللي هم جوا البايزي نورديجي بموت بارتوكالاري فو الفنلانديا نسمع وحفنا دوار السيستيما ادوكاتيفا دوار الفات كيف فورسي وهتيستا يبروفاي بدل شي افاريس من السيستيما ادوكاتيفا في بايزنا ونبروفاو دي هم نلقو ونبروفاو مورو فو السيستيمي اللي ديجا قدين يحتمو اللي ديجا ومهيار كم على استودنتي واتفال تانا كيفو كول على اللي Diversi drabi f'dan il-program fil-fatti diskutejna l-edukazzjoni u anki il-mot kif ikunem il-komunikazzjoni bejn l-allima u l-studenti u l-ġenituri anki u l-lum għankunu għedin nitkelmu propju dwar din dan il-sugġet fil-imkien mal-missidna taħna fil-studio fil-fatt nil-qabi pjaċir maħna l-doktor Kenneth Vella il-li u għabta skola u anki għati uħsib din il-konferenza il-li għabta nispiega l-kom propju dwara għanna l-Johanna Jarvanin Taubert li għa Learning Scoop Finland and Pedagogical Director, kif u koll l-Antni De Bono, li għal Vice Chairman ta' Tomas Fennec Foundation. Grazie għamħu natalina għat-tumana. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, 
Johanna, I'd like to start from you. Um, this morning, you had a conference here in Malta, which will continue even uh, tomorrow, uh, called and titled Learning Scoop, right? Yes. What is the secret, first of all, of the success in Finnish education? Because we hear a lot about the education in Finland and how th the system works so wonderfully. Yeah. Well, it's a combination of many things. Uh, first of all, I think the whole system really supports teachers and gives them autonomy and freedom to perform their best. So it's, uh, I think it, the system itself is designed well. Uh, also, in addition to that, we have the very highly qualified teachers. They are top professionals in their professions and they, they all have master's degree and it's really hard to get into teacher training in Finland, so they are really the best out of best. And we really trust them because we respect their, their professionalism and expertise. And then I think we also very uh, carefully follow the natural development of the child. So we take into account what is good for children and try to design the practices accordingly. So we all the practices they are science based in finland and they try we are trying to promote learning and well-being of our children okay and then you have this learning scoop yeah. th as it's entitled so what is it exactly it, it's a private company basically uh, all the par the partners have been working in the field of uh, uh, teacher training in finland for 20 years and uh, five years ago we decided that we could also train teachers from other countries as well because it seemed that there's a huge interest towards Finnish education abroad. And so we, we established Learning Scoop and since then we have been training teachers in various different countries around the world and we have also had visitors coming from other countries to witness the Finnish education them, system themselves. Okay. Kenneth, um, Skin l'interess, min fejn beda dan l'interess u kif sar il-kuntatt ukoll? Tiva mela, l-ewwel net ħu kulħadd jaf illum il-ġurnata li l-sistema edukattiva finlandiża hija konsidrata waħda fost l-aqwa fid-dinja. Ir-riżultati li l-kolleġi tagħna fdal-pajjiż skandinavu jakkwistaw tista' tajt ukoll fix-xena ta' eżamijiet u assessjar internazzjonali huwa xi ħaġa ta' min wieħed ifaħħara. Però aħna mhux qed ngħidu li irridu nġibu lil dawn il-persuni Malta jħarġu l-allima taħna biex aħna nuħolqu il-sistema edukattiva taħna eżat bħalta l-Finlandja. Pero għalix mannix natu l-edukaturi taħna il-ċans, l-opportunita, l-esperienza il-li anki jisimaw min esperti bħal Johanna eżattament xet jamlu l-Finlandja u forsi anki xilu ma segreti taħħum. Per eżempju, fatti li derem joġo pli li meta anki titkellemi hija li huma jibbażaw id-deċiżjonijiet tagħhom fuq ir-riċerka li jkunu għamlu, fuq studji li jkunu għamlu bil-lat edukattiv anki f'pajjiżi oħrajn. Il-fatt kemm l-allima huma stmati, l-edukaturi kollu huma stmati. U madwar sena u nofsilu kont għamilt kuntatt ma l-istess learning scope u ħeġġi ċtom jekk kux possibbli illi aħna nistidnuhom jiġu Malta u jmexxu sessjoni ta' taħriġ għal l-allima tiegħi fiħtan l-skola tijaj ma terboni konsil jisejn Gjosef ta' raħa l-ġdid. Pero dik s-sena u koll, madwar disajt s-sena jilu, anki f-tiet iz-zjet, f-rar ta' s-sena li jaddit, konna f-taħna dan il-workshop u koll għal-numru ta' edukaturi min skajjel uħrajn. F-tiet, għax konna limitati u koll ġivri b-reskrizzjoni jitta' numri. Din s-sena, grazzi u koll għal-fondazzjoni Tumas Fenek fil-ġurnalizmu u l-familja Fenek, irnexxilna u koll li inkomplu niftu din l-esperienza għax workshop għal dan, konferenza għal di liza ma tkunx bis l-edukaturi maltin jisimaw l-barganin imma jaqsmu maħħom u koll l-esperienzi taħħom fil-klassijiet maltin u ħħġa u koll li tolktu u koll min Johanna u t-tin taħħa li dem jajdu jismaħ na ġejnaw muġ bix nalmukom ġejna na jidulkom xet namlu aħna pero nixti u koll nitalmu min għandkom U dan duwa fattu koll li tara anki kem u ma lesti ikunu miftu hi nanki għal pajizi uħrajn u assistemi edukattivi ta' pajizi uħrajn. U spiċċajna li jaminna dan il-workshop 
kemillu muanki jada għanna il-fuq min 250 edukatur Malti, min diversi settur li jadin jattendu għal dan il-workshop fuq jumejn, pero barra min dan u koll jina għatt il-ħsib li għanki norgani t-zalu numru tala għato għrajn, muċ bisma l-edukaturi, aktar kmin il-lum u nirringazzum u koll il-fakulta tal-edukazzjon di fiħdan l-Universita ta' Malta il-li kallu mu koll l-opportunita jil-taqaw ma juħana u t-tin ta' għawri d-diskultu l-izvilupi ta' sistem edukattiva kem fil-Finlandja u għanki t-taħriċ li nata l-illa l-lima għanki f-kun test lokali għanki mol mol ta' Union of Teachers il-tqajna u koll l-lejla maħu mu koll kallu għanki il-ċans jasmu l-esperienzi ta' għom ija xiħħġa il-li ija tajba aċtatina u koll l-opportunita il-li naqsmu li di għattana u dan u koll u għassa l-li janki s-sajfli għadda u għanki s-sajfli ġej numru ta' edukaturi maltin muċ bismi l-skola ta' għana imanki minskelu għen maltin se kunu t-lajn tampere fil-Finlandja i koll u koll esperienza ta' ġima jitħaltu ma' l-edukaturi fil-landizi fil-skejjel i koll u koll sessjonijiet ta' lectures fil-universita fil-landiza ta' tampere il-li dan għetu għassa l-u koll bix għanki l-Maltin joħorġu koll mil-pajis u għanki jaqsmu l-esperienzi ta' għom għanki muġ bis Malta iz għanki barra mix tutna. Għandi, kif għassejtu il-li għandkom titħlu fin-nizjattiva meħuda min din l-skola? L-għulet, graċi tal-program li stedintu għawnek, l-rit najt il-li l-Tumas Fenek Foundation ija għal-edukazzjoni fil-ġurnalizmu. Issaħna etnatu għafna importanza da laħħar tletsnin għana jiduwek illi flok il-peris li jaq edukazzjoni fil-ġurnalizmu u l-ġurnalizmu għassajna li miexi sew il-quddim għana redunatu iktar fokus fu l-edukazzjoni u kienet piuttost opportunita ezzatta li għana inħaltu għan fil-imkien għalix għalix l-għalet kul tifel mil-bidu tal-ħajja tijaw imur fil-edukazzjoni. Jaħna nħarsu lej il-situazzjoni kif da jizviluppa mal-ħajja sa kem jitħol l-universita u juħroċ fil-ħidma da xol at that point u mwa li tħol il-ġurnalist li kunet jun forma lil-pajis kollu. Imma ovjament għana nħarsu lej il-ġurnalist illi isu edukatur iktar matur min li dawk li kunu għadom et jikbru l-skola. Allora Aħna il-etnatu importanza għafna il-qasam tal-edukazzjo, speċjalment meta il-sena l-ohra jo jisu t-minta xiċar jilu aħna għal-lewel darba sar il-kors jattisiġu għal-emkast għal-l-studenti biex jihdu il-BA u jikun speċifikament għal-ġurnalizmu. U għalna għal-sena li din jikon ninna għafna snin niprova u namluwa u irnexxinna il-li il-lum nisarajt il-ġurnalist xajib għatila għanka għaj kollu il-possibilta li kude master u għedin nisiru għanka l-sforzi biex jittila għanka sa l-PhDs. Iġifiri kem minna għata l-MKAS u kem minna għata l-Universita. Iġifiri għallura din kienet opportunita unika illi għanna nitħlu għal din biex jingunu nistawnatu s-supportana għal dan l-għan nobli nistanajt. Johanna, what initiatives and innovations are being introduced at the moment in Finland? Well, <clears throat> we just uh, renewed our core, national core curriculum for basic education, pre-primary education and uh, upper general uh, uh, education, which is high school, basically. So we have new curriculum, which brings new kind of pedagogical practices we are implementing at the moment, and uh, also multidisciplinary studies and, and many new, new other new things. Besides, we are also um, putting into practice the electronic matriculation examination uh, at the end of high school, which is new. So there will be no filling test papers. They are doing it digitally. And then we have also reformed our vocational education. So it will include more uh, studying at workplaces in order to meet the needs of the working life better. So, but these are just to name a few. There are so many developments and programs going on all the time. It's like the, the normal state of Finnish education. It's, it's developed constantly. Kenneth, the feedback that you have from Lima, 
متى انت تايد لنا اليوم اتيجوا يدول لكم الميثود تاعهم الموس كيف ما ينتراجشوا مع الاستودنتي كيف انه ديفرنت من ذاك اللي يعملوا لها اللي ما بريزنتي او مالتا في الكلاسيات وش قادين يهدوا الورسه لو انت اريد ان يدول لي كيف عندنا قبل وكل مش ذا كل اللي يعملوا فنلاند دي ستيجي ابليكات جوا مالتا بيرو كنا مكول ازامبي براتيتشي اللي هما يهدو بحالا الانساتيفة واللي يستاو يجو امplementاتي يعني كيف الاسكيل وفي الكلاسيت مالتين التيب تا لاتسيونيت يوين كان لا اتفتايت في ديفاكس السوجات اللي يكونوا اكتر براتيتشي على هيا اتفتايت اللي انجالو اللي تفالتان يغزبو اكتر بيخسب كرياتيف وبيخسب كرياتيكو اللي مش انتوهم كلوش حنا يدو اكسبون فيدنك اما اتفالندوم شانس يغزبو اللي دايا وكل اللي في الفنلاندية وكيف يمشي وكل الكولة كتانا يمك عنك السلة بتاخهم اجي فري السلة بتاخهم اوما وكل اللي بازاتي دفرنتي من اللي يوما تانا ياتو تشانس اكتار لتفال بيش يسكوب بالتالنتي تاخهم عنك تشارتو فورسي خسبيت اللي ويتو كلهم بريسوية نغاتيفة تاخهم بر ازمبيو يو دفرنتي مش فيرا اللي في الفنلاندية ما يعملوش تستيت يوم يوم جزاميت مش فير اللي في الفنلاندية ما يعطوش هوم ورك لتفال يعطوه هوم ورك برا ما يكونش ازا جرات اللي فورسي ويت يستنى اللي عندهم ينتا وان كتفال مالتين مش فير سابو في الفنلانديا اللي هم غلاتسيوني بين اكتر ما تاتي هوم ورك اكتر اتفال سيمورو تاية في الاسكولا ما همش دي كل الكورلاتسيوني وكل ودو نوما ايديا تلي عنكي متا الادوكاتوري تانا يسيما هوم اللي هفنا درابي وكل ايام شكول تاند بكيا تاخهم الكار باتاخهم اللي اي هاي كون هم تشيرتو تبديل اي يالي السلة بتانا نيران جاوان في تيتا هيار بيش يكونو وقتا قد التابلي الازميني التالوم اي انكولو الكونسولتاتي عنكي في الدشيزيونيت اي الدشيزيوني تانا يكونو كول البازاتي فوق ريشاركا هيش فيري دانوا داك الديم ينبوتاو او كول هانا يدوك في البايز النورديشي بحال في اللانديا الوغا عنكي برو لكتر بونت امبورتانت اللي دالوضو بر ازمبي وقت البرزنتاتسيوني يوهانا وطيم تاخب دو عنكي يبرزنتاو ازمبي براتيشي تاشاملو ما بديفاكس سوجتي في الكلاسيات كيفير نشيلو مكول ينتقراو ديفاكس سوجتي في لاتسيوني واحدة اللي انتي كولو كلاسي قدية تيجي مالما من اكتر من اللي مويهد في الاستسخين و اللي لو اللي يقبط بر ازمبي الماتيماتيكا بيرو في الاستسخين اللي مي هوريت يقبط سوجتي هوريت ينتقرا في الوقت اللاتسيوني تال ماتيماتيكا لوزوم تا بوستيت مفتوها يو بوستيت بحال مزاويت بحال لبراريا اللي انت تستاتوزا اللان تياك بيش تعمل لاتسيونيت اكتر انترسانتي و عليك نرجع نايت واللي ننفسيت زالي داون وما وكل لازمبي لي ما يطول بوكش خفنا فنانسي بيش تمبلمنتوم امو ما ايديات براتيشي اللي بدي توصل وكل الكولاجي تانا اللي يستوي جو امبلمنتاتي في الكلاسي اللي ممكن هاتا اكتار لي زا فوق بازي جنرالي بخالا اتفتا بخالا بريزنتاتسيوني ومبات يوهانا تا الدتا اللي دوار الكوريكلوم كيف نبدا الفلاقار سنين في الفنلانديا عادا الباكتشيبانتي كولا سيت لوت تال بموت براتيكو سيكونو مقسومة اكتار في ووركشوبس وداك اللي سيما ويلوم اللي سيما وقادا في لودو وقت لاول سيسيون كيف يستا يجي امبلمنتات عن كيف الكلاسيت مالتين انتني لو سميت بموت باتيكولار الجورنالز مو في عمانتي اشا هاجا لي على الارض هفنا اللينك بين الميديا والسكية للموت كيف تستبش موت تقربهم لي جورشين في المتسال كونتاتسيوني انفتي داكو اللي بدات لك اللي امنا داك الكورس و بدينا اسا قالش كيف تافنتي و كيف يفحفنا اللي قبل الانفرزدات مور بي اي كوميونيكيشن سيكون نقرا اللوم اتي كون اكتر سبيشيفيكات انسي و اتي دحلو الامنتي اللي اللي بوش يكون الكمو كل جورناليزمو اما اتي دحلو الامنتي يوهرا تا فيلمينك تا اجي فيري من يكون ايات اتي استوديا انكا براتيكامنت يكون ايات يادي تيا اتي يامل اتي تخلو في الفات اساك ديجا ايات فوق البوست تا الشول احنا احنا فورتولانتي وكول اليش الشيرمن قال لو لات الفونداتيون يسا قال ادن في تساتاشر سنة تحا ومن البدونات احنا الشيرمن هو 
l-eċellenza tijaw il-President Emeritus Dr. Ugo Mifsud Bonici illi kull ħat jaf illi l-edukazzjoni ija l-baby tijaw. U għallura aħna fortunati minn dak il-lat, tantu ekk illi mal l-Università, mal l-Fakulta tal-Wellbeing, for society u li jija taħti l-dekanu għa Dr. Andrew Atzopardi għanna għanna enemmu ju maħħom u naħdmu maħħom kontinuament speċi bej l-student u l-ġurnalisti. L-istess għanna malem kast u l-istess għet namlu biex il-namlu du kull sena nipruvaw namlu konferenza nazjonali illi jikolla element ta' ġurnalizmu u koll element ta' edukazzjoni. Johanna, what struck me before when you spoke about teachers in Finland was that you spoke about them at a certain level. You looked up to teachers, that society looks up to them. We have a current situation in Malta where teachers are not respected that much uh, from the students and sometimes even from, from the parents mm. and from society in general um, without getting into the financial aspect which is an issue uh, on its own but uh, even the way they are treated and even the way they are looked upon. Um, uh, how, how can this be, um, be amended here in Malta? How can this be changed? Well, that's a really good question because we think that the teachers are the key players in education. It uh, comes to an end that everything depends on them. And if we don't respect them, if we don't treat them well, if we don't give them the autonomy to do their jobs as good as they can, we can't expect good learning results. It doesn't work like that way. So I think that it's not an easy, easy thing, of, of course, to fix. But I think that uh, first um, giving teachers uh, freedom to exercise their expertise, really to show what they can, because this has been told us several times. They have a lot of ideas and a lot of um, uh, aspirations how they would like to conduct their work. And, but of course you can um, gradually build uh, a culture of trust if you see better learning results, uh, then the parents will trust the teachers more, the, the whole society will respect them more. So it's, it's, there's no quick medicine for that. But I think you, you have to start by trusting them and giving them autonomy. Because we have met so many Maltese teachers and they are talented, they are passionate, there's so much possibilities with them. I hope that um, the authorities and, and, and society um, will hear you and, and the mentality changes as well here in Malta. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. It was very interesting and I wish you all the best for tomorrow as well, um, for the long day ahead. Hamoru al-waqfa asira al-iftit reklami, pa'umana la har party tanet live dal-waqt.